Okay, this video here is specifically on these taper locks. So let's get, back, get right into it and talk about those. Um, what you should notice immediately is we have two different parts here, both of which are important to the assembly. You can see that it's a larger diameter in this section here, moving out to this section is smaller. And likewise, there is a corresponding socket here in your sheaver pulley. So they should kind of fit or nest together like this. Now, if you grab it and it looks close and it's not fitting here, don't force it. Obviously, it's not the right fit, so we're going to spin it around. And so the idea is, is as these things come together and become tight, the clearance is taken up and it'll actually start to close that gap. And what it does is it uses that bore to squeeze around the shaft. This is a very good method for driving because not only do you get a, a, the drive from the key, which actually can, can push that around the shaft, but then all of these surfaces are much closer, so it's a really good bond as far as what the shaft goes. Eliminates wobbling and everything else, but there's a certain way to assemble it and a certain way not to. We're going to talk about how to do this. Now, you'll notice there's a bunch of set of holes in here, uh, but I only had three screws. Why is that? What are they all for? Well, essentially for the installation portion, you want to actually take the bolt and stick it through the clearance hole here and then thread it into the threaded hole here. And as you're tightening, this head is going to pull, okay, this into the socket there. All right. Now, what does that all look like? Well, we're going to show you while we're installing this. But what I'm going to do is, is find a threaded hole in here and a clearance hole here and get it kind of close. Take my bolt, slide it through, and then begin to thread it into the sheave or pulley. I'm only going to put it in a little bit because I don't want to tighten it up just yet. And I'm going to do likewise over here. And I'm going to do likewise over here. So now I have my three. Now listen, these taper locks come in all different shapes and sizes. There could be four bolts. There could be three. There could be two bolts. All right. So installing this onto the shaft, we're going to make sure that the key lines up. All right, and then we're gonna notice how I'm keeping my fingers in here to keep this separated from this. That's a really important step, and the reason I say that is because if this becomes goes together too much and there's enough tension, it'll close that gap and then eliminate you being able to assemble this on there. Now, once you get it close to where you are, it's gonna to wanna to be on the shaft. Um, don't stress over this unless you, you have to use this for, uh, for pulley alignment. I'm gonna talk about that again in a minute. Uh, but if you can move the shaft, then don't worry too much about where this is because as you tight, as you start to tighten this up, this won't move, but this will actually come over. So you can lose alignment. Sometimes you have to anticipate. Again, don't overthink this right here. The next thing I want to want to do is is grab our wrenches, and in this case, I know that I need a 7/16 wrench for this, which that's perfect. I'm going to run all this up with my fingers. Okay, to save a lot of wrench time. And once I get this up there with my fingers, I'm going to decide where I want this. And then I'm going to a little bit of tension, a little bit of tension, a little bit of tension. Just about the same all the way around. What I don't want to do is, is force one particular side into the socket alone because then it's going to cause this thing to wobble. And possibly even not seat appropriately. So I'm just going to work it around and work it around. And I'm really not putting a whole lot of tension on this. Now, in an industrial installation, yes, we're going to put a lot of tension on this. But for here, we're not going to over torque that. We're going to keep that minimal. But as you can see, with very little torque on those bolt heads, that taper assembly just took over and really locked it onto that shaft. So we're installed. And if we want, we can take it, look over top of it, give it a quick spin, and you should notice no perceptible wobble in this, um, in this particular hub right here. So now we got it on here. We're going to do all of our other stuff. But how do we get it off? Oh, no problem. So what we're going to do is just reverse this process by loosening these things up. I always like to do them in a little bit of a pattern, kind of going around. Sometimes you can even rotate the pulley to kind of make it easier for you to make it faster. Once you can remove these things by hand, you're absolutely going to want to do that. So I have the first one free. Now what I'm going to do is, is move over to the right or the left, doesn't matter, and find one of the threaded bolts. Now if you notice, if you look in the threaded bolt hole, there is nothing here. And the whole idea is, is as this thread goes down, the end of that thing is going to bottom out on that steel of that pulley. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it to all of them. And I'm only going finger tight at this point, okay? Now that I have everything finger tight, I'm going to do a very similar situation to what I did before. I'm going to give this a little tension, move over here. Give this a little tension, move over here, give this a little tension, Whoop, that went loose, a little bit more, a little bit more, 
a little bit more. Oh, now it's starting to get loose. Why is it getting loose? Because as the thread is threading into here and pushing on this, it's actually separating those two parts. And as they are separating, what happens is, is it's going to open up this little spot right here and release the tension on that shaft. And once it's loose enough, it just pops right off. All right, so that's installing these paper locks and uninstalling these paper locks.